Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And this is the long awaited not back to school week. Uh, usually it's held in September. Um, we just haven't really gone back officially yet. Um, we just had lots of, September was really busy with lots of things here and there, getting back into the routine of going to activities starting online classes that the children had never done before and then October we've all been ill just like back-to-back -back illness in this house and uh, none of us have felt like doing anything and now one of the uh, like we've now like we're all taking it in turns to be ill it's now Charles's turn um while Albert and I are just getting over it so um yeah we're still not officially starting yet I'm hoping that after we celebrate Samhain on the 30th first that uh, we will all be healthy and ready to go so I wanted to share some of the curriculums that we will be using this year um, I have pretty much decided on everything and I've got everything ready so I can show it to you and it's all reasonably well priced as well some of the stuff we um we've talked about before that we've continued to use uh, we're just continuing on and other stuff is new so um this is the first book I'm going to show you and this is called The Children's Forest. Um, I got this on Amazon and um, I absolutely love it. It is a um, kind of a pagany book so if that's something that you're not interested in, um, if you're very religious in another way it might not be for you uh, but it can, it can still be enjoyable. Um, like we always say when we enjoy Christian homeschool channels or Christian home, res home ed resources uh, we just ignore the Christian bits. Um, so if you are not a pagan and you can just ignore the pain bits. It's fine. <laughs> so there's uh, lots of um, lovely illustrations. There's songs. There's stories. There's crafts, recipes. Um, it's a very gentle way to celebrate the wheel of the year. And um, yeah, it's just really, really nice. It's a really nice way to learn about nature as well as the uh, the sabbats that come with nature. So uh, I would definitely recommend this book and I will leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out yourself. So the next one, and I think I've shown this one before, uh, but it is a Penguin 100 Best Poems for Children. Uh, we are starting a poetry tea time and I don't um, plan this in any way. I just read three poems to them. Each child gets to pick one um, and they just flick through and they pick one and I read it to them. And if it's only one child who wants to come and have poetry time then they get to pick three of their own or there's only two then they'll pick one each and i'll pick one like whatever and we just have um a nice warm drink usually we don't actually have tea i might have tea uh, excuse me I keep hiccuping uh, but the children might have warm milk with some coffee syrup in or they have a hot chocolate or something like that um and occasionally we'll have we'll just have a digestive biscuit um but other times we might have like a cupcake or something if we've got something special in but um we just do that once, sometimes twice a week, of just appreciating some poetry together. Um, on the whole, the children think poetry is quite weird. They're not hugely into it, but it's they do like being read to, so it it works. They're happy to do it, and they get a cake and, and a warm drink, so um, or a biscuit and a warm drink, and that's that always brings them in for it. So and then they're just listening to me read it to them. So definitely, definitely a good thing to do. Uh, so um, those are just like the like the random things that we're doing that aren't really like a curriculum. Um, so I signed up to a website, uh, it's an a American website, it's called teachsimple.com. Uh, this is not, no affiliate links in this video at all, this is just stuff that I'm using and liking. Um, I've included a link in the description. And uh, that should be my catchphrase, shouldn't it? There's a link in the description, there's a link in the description. Um, and um, it is a subscription service, it's a bit like Twinkle, and they don't have as much as Twinkle, but it's more, teacher based stuff but I found the absolute hands down best geography and science curriculums um, on there and I'm loving it it's totally worth it for that so oh my gosh I don't know if you can hear the rain and the whistling um, so here we go so this is the earth science they have I wonder if they've got have they got the list in the front here have I printed it off yes so here we go this is the earth science plan this is this, all of these you can't really see it but I'll read them to you um, so it says lithosphere, the study of the land on earth, earth's layers and spheres, which is what this is, tectonic plates, earthquakes, volcanoes, landforms and topography, rocks and minerals, fossils, erosion and soil, atmosphere, a study of the air on earth, atmosphere, weather, tornadoes, hydrosphere, a study of water on earth, 
water cycle, oceanography, tsunamis and hurricanes, biosphere, a study of living things on earth, biomes, zoology and botany. So um, I really like it because uh, you can um, pick and choose what you want to do and put into the folder, um, into your little folder. You can do everything if it suits your children or if you've got younger children you can just do a few things. And um, you've got these lovely big keywords that have got the description and you've got early reader parts there and then you've got um, some beautiful pictures that explain everything and then you've got these um, you've got some like craft projects that are educational and um, then you've got writing activities that you can choose to do um, and then my favorite thing is the review game which is a pop quiz um, testing how much they've learned and then they have these have these questions so the instructions are it's like it's essentially like a Ooh. turns it into a game show I however am just going to there's quite a few questions um, I will just like ask the children separately what they've learned um, and then like mark how well they did at the end um, just for my knowledge more than theirs I won't tell them that I'm doing it I'll just be like oh let's play a game um, just so I know how much they're taking in but I printed off all of these and I was like let's work down the list and the kids looked at the list and they said, actually, we really want to do oceanography first. And I'm like, fine. So we're doing the hydrosphere first um, and we are um, doing oceanography first. Within that, then we're going to do the water cycle, tsunamis and hurricanes. Um, so we're going to do the hydrosphere all as one project. However, they also said they wanted to learn about animals in the water, um, in, in the water, which is kind of, we're doing part of that in the oceanog uh, oceanography. Um, there's quite a large bit about it about creatures that live in the sea um but then they wanted they all said that they wanted to go in depth learning about certain animals so what i did was i um went again on teach simple i found there was already ready-made unit studies on certain animals certain aquatic animals um so i was like okay these are the options you've got because i require like zero prep apart from printing them out uh, which i love and um and yes so i said to them um, like we can we can you can do these you get four votes I'm just plugging in my phone don't mind me um, you've got four votes and um, I can't remember what was on the list now but they on the full list but I did words and pictures to make it accessible for all of them and the votes uh, the, when the votes came out the boys had voted the same they wanted sharks turtles I can't remember if this is the right order sharks turtles dolphin no, octopus, sharks, turtles, octopus, and crabs. And Bessie had said shark, turtles, crabs, um, but then it was like, I can't decide, she couldn't decide between octopus and dolphin, so she, but she, so she ticked, um, ticked dolphin. And, um, and then I said, right, the only thing that you had different was octopus and dolphin, so we'll do both of them. So we're gonna do oceanography, then we're gonna do sharks, crabs, turtles, octopus, dolphins. Um, and then that's gonna be a whole, like um a six week project of learning about the ocean and some of the animals inside it and then we will go on to the water cycle and um tsunamis and things like that so we're gonna we get that's what that's our our plan um that will take us through into the new year um and then i'll probably go and start with this earth slayers and spheres um albert does science on out school um so he doesn't actually ha i don't like i'm not asking him to join in with this if he wants to join in then he can he can like dip in and out i'm not, honestly not bothered but the other two are they tried some classes on out school uh, that were science and they were they wanted them to be more hands-on and they weren't um and they weren't really willing to give it another go so i was like it's fine whatever we'll just do it at home um but albert's having a great time doing science on out school with a lovely teacher called miss uh, christy and um she comes up with well, i don't know how she plans what she's doing because i like amazing he made a building out of cocktail sticks and marshmallows uh, the other day and was learning how buildings are designed to withstand earthquakes and i was like i had no idea so i was sat next to him like just giving him some support and um and, and giving him a hand with the project because it was a bit fiddly <laughs> i learned things it was really interesting so yeah that's what we are doing and i'll get other things from teach simple as well um the children we do are like a six weekly 
family meetings about what they want to learn uh, so we won't do another one now until we've completed the oceanography topic um, and then I will see if they want to continue doing like earth science slash geography or whether they want to go on to history or something like that um, but we will see so we don't have any when it comes to history like kind of a history geography and science I let the kids lead the way because it's so much easier than trying to get them to do something that I've set for them um, I'd much rather follow their, int their interests and let them lead because it makes it easier for me in the long run so let's move on to maths I haven't got the exact books because they are in the box in the dining room ready for tomorrow and I don't want to move that now uh, but this is actually I think this is a book that Charles I know Charles hasn't finished this one and uh, this is one of the ones he's doing so to see five to seven and Charles is ten but there are gaps that he he just couldn't get his head around fractions and he couldn't get his head around time so we just went back to basics and I love these Collins are easy learning books they're really good if you've um they're really good to use in partnership with these ones also Collins I love a good Collins book um what I do with these, and I have talked about these before, is that there's the simple mental maths things and any of the topics they consistently get wrong, I will then get a book like this specifically on that topic or I will make one from Twinkle or Teach Simple or something like that and um, then they will... Um, and then they will stop doing... once they've finished this book, they will then fill in the gaps with these. Um, I think he has actually almost finished this. He's probably got like one, two, three, four. He's got four or five lessons, four or five pages left. So it's for like two or three lessons um, of that one. He's doing the time one at the same time. He's doing them together. So he does one like double page spread of fractions and then one double page spread, spread of time. Um, he's getting much better fractions definitely time still eluding him a little bit um, but these are the books they're on I just go by their ability not by their actual age it really doesn't matter um, I have also been known to put a sticker over them to write their actual age on there because it makes them feel a bit better because um, they don't like that it says ages seven to eight or whatever so um, so yeah we're, they're getting on really really well with these zooming through them and um, I definitely won't be changing that um, I don't like the books where um, they are just doing chapters and chapters. That was the thing about the power maths. We really love the power maths, but they're doing chapters and chapters on addition and subtraction, but they're finding it really easy and they know how to do addition and subtraction and they were just getting bored out of their minds. I've actually sold all those books now and I will link a um, in the description. Um, I do have a eBay account, which is for this channel and it is for my home ed supplies that I'm getting rid of. Everything starts at like, a penny or something like that or I put it on for a pound or whatever um like it, it starts everything's really really cheap you're basically just getting them free for postage um plus a bit of my for my time of putting it up there so um or most of them are like brand new when I get rid of them so keep an eye out for that um and uh yeah you grab yourself a bargain if you want to use those things so um going on to English or literacy whose is this so this is charles's he's taking a break from this because again i got this from teach simple it's in a lovely folder that i got from wilco um and it's spelling lists spelling is something that charles really struggles with um and so we are practicing we're focusing on that and um, he does comprehension on reading eggs um so i don't need to worry about that he's doing really really well there um i am thinking excuse me I am thinking of signing him up to um, something like Night Zookeeper again um, or Literacy Planet or something like that that is um, it's going to do some other things other than comprehension um, just to uh, make that easier and then um, continue with our writing curriculums and um, so he's been practicing you can see it here um, doing really well with his handwriting and with his spelling there so he's just going to keep practicing these for a few days uh, practicing correcting the spelling and then we will do a spelling test um, at the end once he's done all the <coughs> practicing excuse me um, but he got one two three four 
So he got six out of 10 when he did the first one. So what you do is, is you do the test at the beginning to see how well they already know the words. He got six out of 10. The pass mark is seven out of 10. I set that because that's what mine was when I was doing spelling tests at school. And then what you're hoping for is that when he does the spelling test, once he's done all of the activities um, in the week, that when he gets to the last spelling test, the spelling test of the week, that he gets seven out of 10 or higher. That's the plan. So that's going through loads of different words. Uh, they're mostly quite small words, but it's just too, it's just not his strong point. So we've just gone right back to basics and he's a bit like, yeah, okay, fair enough. It's a means to an end for him, I think. But I'm definitely thinking getting an app, getting another app as well as Reading Eggs. Reading Eggs is brilliant. It's absolutely perfect for what we need it for, for each child. Um, but I do think that I want him to be doing something that's more about spelling and grammar. And I think that the reading he does reading express and that doesn't have that but it has comprehension and he's doing super super well on that he just zooms through he does it a whole lesson in like 15 minutes sometimes 10 if he's focused or he doesn't have to nip to the loo halfway through or something like that um so yeah he's doing really well on that but i want something a little bit extra um i will let you know what i choose i think it'd probably be night zookeeper again because he did quite like that um but i'm going to explore a few different apps and see and probably get him to try several of them to see what he fancies so I have been approached by Nike Zookeeper to do a video. Um, I'm going to see if I can get you a discount code. And uh, if I can, then I will go ahead with that because because I know you'll love a discount code. So, um, And uh, it'll probably be an affiliate link as well, just to warn you. Um, but we'll see. It, but whenever it comes to affiliate links for things like that, I will usually just i usually put the money back into using them so um like you've seen about the code spark academy my reward for the code spark academy was that they just gave me a year subscription my reward for those things is usually that sort of thing i usually get i usually then get free access to the app um and uh, and i think that's great because it just means that you by you all supporting the video just by watching it liking it you're you're helping me home educate my kids and I think that's what this channel is all about is helping each other home educate so um I do love doing those videos especially if you can get, if I can get you a discount code which is always good so let's move on to Miss Bessie so Bessie is almost nine can you believe that when I started this channel she was like almost seven <laughs> now she's almost nine she might have been almost six when I actually started it properly but that's it's madness madness she was really little She's still really struggling to learn to read. However, her reading age has, for the first time in a very long time, increased by nine months. In the last 12 months, um, it's increased by nine months, which is amazing. She still would be classed as being behind, but she's doing a great job. She's really working hard. But something we noticed recently is that phonics does not work for Bessie in the same way that it does, excuse me, that it did for her brother, for Charles. So we are focusing on sight reading. So also from, sorry. Ooh. I bet you all, you see, I bet you've all missed me yawning, haven't you? You haven't seen me doing a proper video in ages and and where I just yawn at the camera for half an hour. Um, this is going to be a long video. Um, sorry about that, but maybe I could split it up. Who knows? Anyway. Um, so here's Bessie. She's just got some alphabet worksheets in here. Let me show them to you again from Teach Simple. Um, and they're literally just practicing her handwriting because it is not her. It's again, like Charles for a really long time, really, really struggled with handwriting and um, letter recognition. Sorry, I've got a really nose. So it's, it's quite cute. If you can see, it's just got some, you know, the whole handwriting thing, copying them and then writing them on your own. And then some word tracing which she did quite well on. Um, she, for some reason, put a line after all of them, so they look like they've got an L on the end. So it's like, app L, ask L, I'll attack L. <laughs> um, and then there's like some of these, like that connect, you've got to connect the letters here to get from one apple to another. Some more letter practice. Um, I will say she makes a gosh darn fuss, and it goes on to be, um, a gosh darn fuss doing every aspect of home education ever. There is absolutely nothing she enjoys doing absolutely nothing and I think she would be exactly the same as she was in school she just has to complain about everything which it's really really stressful sometimes however she doesn't seem to mind doing this so um if you've ever this is the all-in-one homeschool easy peasy easy peasy all-in-one homeschool um by Lee Giles and I uh love them absolutely love them you can 
access the platform for free and I will add it in the description. There's a link in the description. Um, and this is their learning to read. It goes from something called a Mag the McGuffey Primer. You can buy that on um, online um, on Amazon, and um, it's based on I can't remember Gilling Gilling Gillingham Gillingham Orton. I think that's how you say it. Um, way of writing. So this is expecting when you start this book they're expecting that you know the names of all the letters and the sounds of all the letters your child not just you I mean and you but I mean your child um, and then you start by teaching them these words so for example this is lesson one and you practice them three times a day and it's a cat rat and so once they have learnt those and you can just point to them and you can mix them up and they get them every single time um, so I, on the third the third lesson of the day, you then would read the story, which is, I mean, it's it's as dull as Biff, Jip and Kipper, but you're, you're just doing it for reading practice and it takes three seconds. It's not like you're reading a whole Biff, Jip and Kipper wishing that it was over. It's just like three lines and then it slowly gets bigger and bigger until they have a story. So this one says, a rat, a cat, a cat, a rat, a cat and a rat, a rat and a cat. Voila, story read. And then it goes on building on that knowledge so you've learnt the next words you learn are at the ran has anna and then you use the ones that you've already learnt and the rat the cat the rat the cat has a rat the rat ran at anna the anna has a cat the cat ran at the rat and then so on and so forth until you are already you are reading you're, you're reading again your child's reading um massive passages massive stories that are like two two or three pages long and you're learning smaller words you're learning different words like feathers ago fly worm crumb feeding ugly off feed brown guess things um and the idea is that you then have in the back you have some more phonetic knowledge learning so once you're already reading confidently of these stories and then being able to read most quite a few stories confidently it's then excuse me, filling in the phonetic knowledge that they may have missed doing that way, which, um, so she's loving it, she's loving it, it's getting her reading, she, this is the only thing that she is willing to do without making a fuss. McGuffey Primer, easy peasy all in one homeschool, it's awesome. And they have all sorts of stuff on there, they have, um, as they say in America, language arts, they've got reading, right, they've got phonics, they've got preschool curriculum, they've got maths, they've got history, geography, history, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not always impressed with um, US history, because it's very, like, US-centred, um, but also, you know, saying that, in the UK we don't get taught about the British Empire and all the damage we did, so... History in general can be problematic to teach and it's something I do struggle with. I want to get right for my children. Um, so when we do do history, we do talk about the good, the bad and the ugly. Uh, well, I don't sugarcoat anything and I don't whitewash anything either, uh, which is really hard because um, because I'm white and I live in a very white area. So, But we try very hard to make our history, to, 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 I try very hard to teach them the truth as much as the truth I can find um but I do find teaching history his, history a little bit problematic sometimes because history is not always the truth it's the stories told by the victors so you know so I was going to split this into two but I think I'm just going to go really really quickly and get on with it so moving on to Albert he is doing reading eggs as is Bessie the um just like the actual reading eggs and then he's got the same as Bessie in <coughs> In here but he also has alphabet mazes which look like this um then he has alphabet dot to dots these are all from teach simple as well um so he has alphabet dot to dots you can see they did the he did the letter b there b for bears uh c for cows is next and then he has the same as bessie which is the exactly the same the finding connecting the c's handwriting practice that sort of stuff and then i am just reading with him the old biff chip and kipper getting them out again and we're just um practicing 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 he's doing okay he's doing well his reading age is 
probably six months behind his chronological chronological age but we've only just started so i think he's doing all right um but yeah that is it for now um the uh other things we are doing are charles is doing art um online classes without school bessie is doing um science themed but they are specifically about animals and bugs and just general creatures in general um she's doing a class with that and she also occasionally does baking as i said charles is doing science i have linked in the description the classes they are doing if you are interested in trying them uh, that does come with a referral link um you will get if you haven't used out school before you will get um twenty dollars um off of classes so you can probably try depending on which classes you pick you probably try two classes um out of that or one class and put the money towards the next class um and then i get twenty dollars which i put which in in out school credits which i then use to home educate my children so again i'll help you home educate you help me home educate we're all community here it's all good so this video went longer than I expected, but I hope you stayed around for it. Uh, if you got to the end, congratulations. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the little bell so you can be notified. Um, as I said in my last video, I am getting on it. I am trying really, really hard to get these videos out and um, also whilst churning out videos for out school. So check out, check out those. If once a week over here is not enough for you and you want me three times a week, you can go over here and I'll be here once a week, hopefully goddess willing and then um go over to out school and you'll see me twice um i usually post on there fridays and mondays and i will be posting um here i will be posting on wednesdays so if you want me monday wednesday and friday check me out on out school too um and don't forget to like and subscribe over there too because um i'm basically the one doing the videos on there so it makes me super happy and i did see that after the last video i posted that several of uh suddenly we jumped in subscribers and i really i know who i know it was all you so i really really appreciate that it absolutely made my day and my boss as well who is supporting me um with the videos uh it totally made her day as well to see um to see that there was suddenly a jump in subscribers and she was like are those your subscribers i was like yeah they've come over to see me so it totally made my day and thank you so much if you're one of those people who hopped over from here to subscribe on out school so you could watch me on there i really appreciate it i really appreciate your support um because yeah it's 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 a hard old slog when you're only getting three or four views um over there at the moment so <laughs> oh and i'm getting like 130 views in like two days or something over here when it's like two weeks i'm getting like there's tumbleweeds so come on over um and um there will definitely there's always there's always it's not all out school focused so you'll definitely see other stuff on there as well so um whew, i think that's it i think that's it for now um if you've got any questions about the curriculum or you want to have more detailed look throughs of anything um let me know and um uh yeah i think i've got some nature study stuff to share with you soon and um i will be giving away a month's free of the nature study when it when of my nature study when it comes out uh, to everyone who's a subscriber on the channel uh, so if um if uh um all you have to do is uh is is show me your show me that you're subscribed there'll be a little form and it will get um sent sent straight out to you so uh, via email which would be very exciting as soon as i've worked out how to make that happen <laughs> it will be it will be on its way to you so um let me know what you think are you excited about nature study uh, have you got any questions about the curriculum um where the kids are at what they're up to anything like that let me know and um i'm going to talk about do another video soon about our current home ed style and what's important to us at the moment because i know i did that back maybe two or three years ago and it's changed a lot since then I think so um I'm gonna go now I'm gonna stick this on YouTube ready for you and I will see you next Wednesday bye <laughs>